I wonder how, I mean, you know, there's tons of people who like make their mortgage and go to work, but they're abusing opiates every day, right? They just looked upon a little more kindly than the guy I noticed behind the gas station on my way here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was like, like bent down, like, like doing something. I'm like, oh, not my, not my scene, not my problem. <laughs> Heading on home with my, with my, with my Dr. Pepper. We're gonna have a good holiday. <laughs> <laughs> just call me Kyle. Minding my business, Myers. Just yeah. <laughs> heading yeah, my you, way home. Yeah, you like, like, like some. I bet I can, I can imagine someone. You learned that in prison? No, that's just common fucking sense. You see a guy with his head down in a pipe behind a gas station. You leave him alone. He's oh, not yeah. having a good night. Like, have you seen those videos on social media of like some? It'll be like a a train or subway in a in a city, and there's some dude like losing his mind, like yelling at apparitions, like randomly, like jerking his body in like a yeah. methed out way, and like he'll like bully a woman or something, and all the comments will be like shame on men for not standing up in this circumstance and it's like <laughs> and it's like fuck you like there is no way i'd step up to anyone who's like on meth on public transit I'll, like no, if i don't I care see, if, he, if he's like bullying a child like fuck you you pokemon lineup sucks let me see ah oh, you're, you're vulnerable to grass types how are you gonna win like i don't care i'm getting off at the next stop i'm leaving that's not my problem there's no way i can fix that there's no way me going over there solves it. He's going to turn around, stab me in the neck, and then go back to insulting her. <laughs> take a meth head? No, they're, they're unpredictable, and they bite. They bite. I don't see anything wrong with your teeth. You got the, you, They can't hang with you in the biting department, Taylor. Yeah, but you don't bite. Oh, it's like, a like, fighting it's like, bite they, you want, eh? <laughs> they <laughs> open Pandora's box when they challenge Taylor to a biting fight. <laughs> well, I think or I we just do that thing where, like, game. giraffes, we, like, rear back with our mouth open and, and like, pose, and, and then we come teeth to teeth, clacking. Yeah. No, there's... I see those videos, and I see these, like, you know, internet heroes. Oh, I would have put a stop to this. And it's like, no, you would have made a mess. Like you would have got blood on people's shoes, yeah. like your blood. Try like your best. Not don't do why that. are meth heads so difficult to fight? It may help educate me. They're they're un they are unpredictable. They are on a powerful amphetamine that gives them like strength and energy, and they're 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 fried. They they they're not like equating they're things aggressive. logically. They're aggressive. Like have you seen like the the Breaking Bad scene was a good one where Jesse goes in and. Uh, He's he's in that that drug house and he's trying to calm down that guy with the shotgun who's going Tucker 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 like yelling and Jesse's like I don't want any everything's okay every trying to calm him down he's like I don't want any trouble and the guy's like trouble what about trouble what are you talking about trouble <laughs> you bring your trouble where's trouble and, then, and, and it's like <laughs> out that's there the man kind go of get him <laughs> out there go get him there's no trouble in here but like they they will latch onto help? things like it's a <laughs> meth is a scary drug. Like it, it makes yeah. people scary and you don't want to mess with an unpredictable, you know, gacked out person like that. I mean, look, look, acid can send you in a place where you're a weird person to interact with. And but, but you know, lots of things can. But meth in like th those drugs that seemingly will mix with someone's mental Ill or illness or maybe another drug and send them into like rager mode, like berserker mode. That's mm -hmm. so scary. And I agree with you 100 percent, Taylor. If I, I, there's no way if I'm on like a. If I'm on a bus, kill me now. But if I'm on a bus, <laughs> and, all right. Hopefully, we're heading to the euthanasia clinic, <laughs> and and some dude's getting rowdy and up in some girl's face. My first thought is, I bet before I got on this bus, she was talking some shit or something. Like like she, yeah. she probably like 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 what is she gonna do if I if I help? Nothing. Like 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 she's not gonna appreciate it. She doesn't need yep. my help. She'll be fine. And I, there's no way I'm helping. There's no fucking way. What am I, hero? What am I going to get the, the key to the city after this one? More likely I end up with either hepatitis C <laughs> or, a, or a fucking back injury or yeah. something, right? Like, <laughs> like, like me and this guy are going to roll down the steps of this bus and I'm going to blow a disc in my back or something. Like, like no, yeah. we're not fighting. Or he stabs <laughs> me to death. Like, let's not pretend like I'm just going to beat, uh, like, like my option is beat somebody up. Or walk away. The option is like risk your life over a random fucking stranger and some shit you don't know nothing about. Oh yeah, like the the move is look away, and like if some like pretend to be deaf, like what? look away, pretend to be deaf, do some next sign stop. Language. Next stop, which tweet? <laughs> no, d deaf, not <laughs> like you. Oh, just I do both. I do both. I'm deaf. 
I, <laughs> but what if just, the meth addict's not that big? He's probably, you guys are big, strong dudes. Well, I don't what know how to fight. Knife? What if he has a keychain? That's all it takes to hurt me so I much. I have a knife. If he has a Do pen? you? I always have a knife. Well, that's crime. No, it's no, not. Right. It is for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Kyle Woody, doesn't you need to. You know what I need to? I need to bring Woody with me to the to the bus incident, and then we'll have no problem at all. He's, <laughs> he's got a knife in one hand, a gun in the I'm other. I'm a little concerned. Yeah, if you're armed, sure. Like, like get in there and mix it up. Leather, man. But yeah. Oh, you're gonna screw him down tight then. <laughs> That's the plan. Maybe the whole reason he's upset is he mm-hmm. needed a fucking corkscrew for that. I bottle. am gonna <laughs> file those fingernails. <laughs> he's, he's about to bash the woman with that bottle of wine, but you come over. Boom, now he's happy. <laughs> yeah, you stick these at me with the pliers, you dick. <laughs> yeah, so you, I don't, I don't know about all that one. Yeah, I. I'm glad you agree. You wouldn't get involved. And it's Woody, not like I'm a, it, it's just the drugged up crazies on public transportation. Don't, don't no. I've seen so many videos. Yeah. I saw a person get, it was actually a trans person who kept messing with this guy who didn't want to be messed with. And then the guy finally just beat, I'll say her maybe to death. Yeah. It was just he, like a huge overreaction, but they kept warning her, leave him alone. And with then a weapon. Like, no, no. Oh. She was just like in his face fucking with him. And he stood up on the bus and he kicked her face in like, 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 like went just off on her beat. Damn. She'd been unconscious since the first hit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And don't, did... don't start shit on public transit. Doesn't seem like anybody wins. Nobody's got, and nobody was helping her while he stomped her face in. No, nobody I'd be scared of the guy either. doing the stomping. I, I like, I, I, I see that situation and I am under no illusions that I'm the stomper. I, I'm the stompy. Like, I don't want to be the stompy. Yeah. That'd be horrible. Having your head caved in on a bus. I don't understand why you make yourself so like, not make yourself, but like, like you put yourself in. Oh, I'm feeble. I could because, never stand up. Because it's, 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 it's about. If there was a crackhead on the bus, I know damn well he's gonna stomp my shit in. No, no, no it's Taylor. not that. It, it's about the odds, right? Like, like let's say that I go over there and I do beat his ass, but he scratches me a little, and now it gets infected, and I gotta go to the hospital. Or he bites me, and now I literally have fucking hepatitis C, and I need a liver transplant in a few years. Or drugs to prevent that, somebody will say. Oh, you're right. It's not so bad after all, is it? Just preventative hep C drugs for the rest of my life. Like, there's a lot of mm-hmm. bad things that could happen. Plus, like, what if you kill this fragile motherfucker who was all drugged up on you're the bus? You're going to jail. Yeah, right? Like, what if you cripple him and he got hit and his, his dad, even though he's a crackhead, has a lawyer? Now you're paying God knows what. For, oh, yeah. my poor son was on a... He was actually reacting poorly to some drugs prescribed by his mm. doctor. So forget all of his crimes. Let's talk about Mr. Myers, the felon who beat him senseless. Yeah. Where's that woman he was defending? Oh, she disappeared into the mist. What woman? Mm. <laughs> yeah, what, what woman? <laughs> There's no one on camera. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'm not I don't taking think chances defending you. I think the crackheads, the meth heads, like they're scary. Not like because they're not going to square up to you in a fight. And like, you know, engage in fisticuffs like they're scary because they're unpredictable and you take your eyes off them. They, they might stab you. What if what if he thinks it's you like looked at them cat. the wrong way and you it's don't like realize that you gave him a look that he perceived as aggressive and it makes him mad. And he comes over and like stabs you with a box cutter or something. It's the unpredictability that makes it scary. You get, there was this who's um Joe Rogan has a friend. He's a comedian. He's a white guy. Brian. Callan. Callan. Callan, thank you. So Brian Callan is talking, and I think he's like, if that guy bullies me, I you can't bully me. I would kick his ass. I'm unstoppable. I will come back again and again and again. Can't be bullied. And Joe Rogan is like, you are full of shit, and you have a bigger problem than that. You don't have enough people in your friend group to call you out when you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah. People are letting you get away with spewing this bullshit. It's possible to bully you. And by the way, Jerry Rogan and um, Brendan Trump. Trump, thank you, are both on the mic. And both of them are like, I could bully the fuck out of you. And, and yeah. there's nothing you could do about it. You're lucky we're not gay. <laughs> but not not according to Brian Callen. He's like, I'm impossible to bully. I will come back. You can't do this. I'm trying not to be that guy. Where it's like, yeah. oh, if I was there, I would be the defender of all the innocents on this bus just, from this meth head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Maybe. no, I get what you're saying. I like, hope yeah, that's who I A am. majority of the time, if you step over there, he'll be scared and he'll stop. A majority of the time, if he does step up, I'll beat the shit out of him. Yeah, you would. But I don't care. 
because there's a 10% of the time where I die. And there's a 20% of the time where I get hurt in a way I don't like. And there's a 30% of it. You know what I mean? Like, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, I'm not, it's the same reason that like when you ride your motorcycle, you're like, maybe I don't hit that ramp. <laughs> or maybe I hit it at 50 instead of 60, right? Like, 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 yeah, it's, it's just like, I'm the, not, the I'm not best looking case to become scenario, a hero on the streets. Like the best case scenario are you escape with minor injuries. The best thing. Like you're not going to make money. You're not going to be a hero. Well, that's not the, the best. Podcast. I mean, the no, best I'm going to be a hero somebody... I'm going to retell it right here, Taylor. <laughs> Weekly. No, I mean, See, I mean, that's the thing is we can we can just lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the bus today. <laughs> uh-huh. I was on the bus today, and hmm. like I was keeping to myself. You know, that I sounds like ride, you. Yeah, I ride public transportation a lot. I, I'm looking <laughs> yeah. out for the environment. I, I want to leave a better world to my to my children, my son, who I'm having mm-hmm. soon. With my <laughs> loving wife that I now have, and um, and man, there was just this character. He was a white guy, of course, and he was just getting up to no good over there. He was, he was being real rambunctious, playing this loud music. He had one of those boom boxes from the early '90s that are oversized and take 16 D yeah. batteries. He was playing and, Toby and Keith really loud, <laughs> so fucking loud. And, and I am a big Toby Keith fan. Let's all pray for him. He has cancer right now, but but it wasn't the right time, you know. And and uh, and I just stepped up to him. I said, sir. You have to turn that Toby Keith music down. Um, I love that song, and I'll sing it word for word with you after we get off the bus, but that's enough. And he said, not today, Jimmy, and he slapped the woman next to him. And I was like, why would you slap? See, we're, see, oh, we're not shit. doing this. We're not, we're, not, we're not doing this. You're going down. And I just beat him senseless right there in front of everyone. And they so all stood I up and murdered clapped. him. I murdered him right there. <laughs> so I, I pulled right his there. pants right down. <laughs> and issued a corrective rape. <laughs> now, I, you know how in hockey you pull the jersey over and it kind of handcuffs their arms? Yeah. Why does that never happen in street fights? I don't know. Because I, we're not wearing no hockey wearing jerseys. jerseys. Yeah. Like maybe it's harder to pull it past your armpits. And I think you're grabbing the jersey because because you're like trying to fuck with their balance a bit on the ice, mm-hmm, like you mm-hmm. on on shoes. Like people are so comfortable on their feet every day. They're on their feet all like, the time. Well, not every day. Get not every yourself. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I don't work every day. Some days it's oh, <laughs> this isn't a walking day. This is... <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I wonder. Uh, and it's here's the other thing that never happens to to these good vigilantes. I'll call them the guys who mm. actually step up and like save lives. They never get to go on the Today Show anymore. They don't do that anymore. They never like get give those guys the uh like like the media tour. Like this is Brendan Michaels. He mm. fucking pulled out his nine millimeter and saved 30 people. No, they don't do that at all. You you never know, you never hear about the like hero who saved the people on the bus and get get his story. And 